Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker and today we're going to go over the 2020 Wolf Pup 16 BHS. This is a short, lightweight bunk model. You have the bunks right here in the back, rear bath, bed up front, and then the kitchen. There are definitely some things I really like that they did and a few things that I wish they would change. First off, I love the countertop. You'll see it does have the seamless style countertop. It's a thermal foil, kind of a pseudo under or a uh, pseudo solid surface. It allows you to undermount the sink, which lets you do cool stuff like this, which is have a nice flush mount sink top cover so you can utilize all of this as prep space. When I lift that up, you will see the large round single bowl. Again, undermount stainless steel sink, even though it's not a true solid surface, it does still let you undermount, which is great. And then you have the high rise uh, kind of oil rub bronze finish there for the faucet. Electrical outlet right on the wall, very easy to access. The two burner cooktop here I like as well. The thing I like about it is this, the fact that you have the flush mount cover. Now, it does tend to want to pop up a little bit in the center, but you know, you put a plate there, obviously it stays down. Still very usable, and I think uh, this is pretty cool. It's, it's not something I've seen a ton in RVs, so uh, I do like that, especially for the smaller space. Underneath, so you'll see you have storage and plumbing access here, same thing here. So this is one of the, kind of my opinion, one of the cons of the floor plan, is that I wish they would have put a drawer inside. Uh, I just don't see a really good place to put any of your uh, flatware or silverware, you probably have to, you know, kind of store it like in a tray there. I would have preferred a drawer. Right up top, you'll see a little bit of storage there. Open that up for you. You will see that this part is kind of closed off because you have your panel there on the side. Also, microwave up top, you have a streamline hood, just a little guy, but it's all you need when you have a two burner cooktop. Also, it's worth noting that your direct vent furnace is right underneath that cooktop so the kids will stay nice and toasty. This is uh, also something that's a little bit newer to the industry. You have the Furion branded uh, 12 volt compressor driven refrigerator, eight cubic foot in here. For the longest time, Everchill has really dominated the market. It looks like Furion has come out with their own. Uh, we'll kind of have to see how that performs as time goes on. But I do like compressor driven refrigerators. They're very low power consumption, turn off your batteries. If you have two batteries and enough solar power, you can run these almost indefinitely, which is pretty awesome. Also right underneath that, you will see your uh, solar panel there, your fuse panel also over to the side is your propane leak detector. In the very back is the bathroom. Now because it is a smaller space, you don't have a sink in the bathroom, but that's all right. You can definitely make do. As far as space, they actually did do a pretty decent job on the toilet. I have enough leg room here, plenty of shoulder space as well. And then we take a look at the shower. Try not to get too much antifreeze on my feet here but I'm six foot tall. As you can see, I am hitting the ceiling. So uh, if you're any taller than that, you know, you will have to duck down for sure. You know, even at six foot, I'd probably have to duck a little bit to shower in there. If you're any shorter than that, you'll be just fine. You have your two bunks here. So uh, the thing I like about this is that you have your USB ports on both bunks. So if kids need to plug in like cell phones or tablets, they're able to do that. You have the LED lights in both. And on the bottom bunk, you can see you have the storage door. So you can lift that bunk up, gives you excellent storage space for things like, you know, uh, wood, e extra totes, things like that. It really does help you bring a lot more in a smaller RV like this. You have the multimedia center tucked away here. This one does have an HDMI port on there. This will control your speakers. Uh, also, it is Bluetooth capable. Storage across the top, LED lights underneath. When you have a couple windows on this side to help with natural light. Also a little two person dinette, you know, this, but this will again do the job for two people. No problem. It does drop down into a bed, but you know, it's a pretty small bed. It would have to be basically a child for anyone to be able to uh, sleep here, but at least it does have that capability. Then if we take a look up front, you will see a little charging spot here. If you want a, the Furion Bluetooth speaker, this is the charging port for it. So it does come with, the, uh, does not come with the speaker, but it does come with the prep for it, if you will. Electrical outlet underneath, kind of a little headboard there. And then the bed itself. So there is a handle right here on the front. You can lift this guy up. You'll see it is strut supported and that gives you access to that shared space underneath with the pass through. You'll see storage up top. So not a ton of closed storage in here, but you know, you might be able to make it work. You probably have to utilize that storage underneath, have like a tote or something there. You will see here on the wall, you have your wall mount. So spot for a TV and then additional storage right up top. Or it's not additional storage, I'm sorry. The hookups for your TV are right up top. Now that we've seen the insides, take a look at some of the outside features on the 2020 Wolf Pup 16 BHS. 
Right up front is your 20 pound propane tank, rails for your battery right behind that, and you have the diamond plating up front, helping to protect that front end from rocks and debris that get thrown up by your tow vehicle. Above that, you have this smooth aluminum front. I definitely prefer the smooth aluminum on the front versus the ribs because it is easier to clean. So that way when you get to your destination and you have all the dead bug splatters all over, you can clean it off much easier. Coming around to the side, solar prep. You want solar? No problem. Buy the portable panels. They will have a controller built in. Plug it in right there, and it'll trickle charge your battery. For the storage up front, so as I mentioned, this does share that storage area with the bed underneath. It is not a full pass-through, but still on a camper this size, that is a pretty large storage area. You'll see a power awning on this camper. Pretty much spans the entire length of the camper, which, again, you know, a shorter camper like this, not too hard to do. You'll see that one has an LED light strip on there too, and that's sewn right into the uh, awning material itself. So it doesn't matter if your awning is completely retracted, partially extended or fully extended, you can still utilize those LED lights. You have the More Ride Step Above Step System, excellent step system. You know, I'm over 200 pounds. I can basically run up and down this thing all day and you won't get that kind of springboard effect, that flex you get in the standard steps over time. Also, it has aluminum treads, which aren't going to rust, and you have the uh, grip tape on there for added traction, plus the foldable grab handle here for some added stability and control when entering the RV. Right next to that, you have what they call the pup kitchen. Realistically, it should be called the pup fridge, because that's what it is. But that's okay, because honestly, this is my favorite part about having an outside kitchen anyway. Opens the other way. There we go. So, uh, you know, lets you fit some condiments in there, a couple beverages, it's really all you need. Also, you can use this as like a little extra prep station or something like that too. Uh, you know, I, like, I do like they threw it in there. I'd much rather have that than nothing at all. Making way back a little bit, outside speakers, just as I mentioned, are controlled by that multimedia center inside, but that is Bluetooth capable. Bop this guy up, you will see you have your uh, cable outlet there, HDMI port as well, electrical outlet out here, so that way if you wanna hook up a TV, you can mount that bad boy right there and you are good to go. That is underneath the awning exactly where you want it. If you have any furry loved ones that you bring with you, you can hook them up right there. Yes, I'm talking about animals. You know, if you have furry children, I know my boy's pretty hairy. Don't hook them up there, you'll get in a lot of trouble. But uh, for any, you know, any dogs or anything you bring, it is pretty handy. That way you don't have to try to dig up a, you know, a stake or anything in the ground. Your rear cargo rack, 200 pound weight capacity on here. This is super helpful, folks. A lot of people underestimate these. The reason I love it is because if you put something like this on, for most manufacturers, that will void the warranty because the bumper and the frame are not built to be able to handle that on the back end. But when it comes straight from the manufacturer, it is engineered that way so that it can take it up to 200 pounds on there. So it's great for extra totes, firewood, coolers, things like that. Just remember to take off the weight of the spare tire here. Having the spare tire there, though, does make it very easy to access, and it has a cover to help keep things in good shape. Making my way back here, trying not to hit the fence. So right along the other side, you will see this guy. This is that storage door I showed you when we were inside. This does lift up just like so. Uh, it doesn't have a strut or anything. It just uses this. So, you know, you kind of lift this up, clip it in place just like that, and that gives you all that extra storage space for stuff that you can bring with you. Making our way a little bit uh, further forward, you'll see 30 amp detachable power cord plugs right in there. Down underneath is where your termination is located. You will see both your black and gray tank valves. And then right up here in the very front, outside shower with hot and cold water access, city water inlet, and your fresh tank fill. All right, folks, and that wraps it up. Again, this is a 2020 Wolf Pup 16 BHS. If you're interested in this little guy and you would like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.